As you may know, Windows 10 support is ending in October. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a few ways to stay safe after this period. So as I've already said, the Windows 10 support is ending on the 14th of October 2025. And because of this, a lot of infrastructure will be affected, especially public sector like the military, healthcare and finance and corporate IT. And obviously, once it reaches the end of support, that poses security risks, software compatibility issues like what people are experiencing on Windows 7 and 8 now, and a lot more sort of adverts to upgrade to Windows 11. So obviously some people might not want to upgrade to Windows 11. There's a lot of benefits and a lot of drawbacks to upgrading to Windows 11, obviously, and we'll get into that in another video. But what if you can't run Windows 11 and you have to get a whole new computer and you can't afford that well in that video in in this video i will show you how to get around that okay so your first option is windows 10 ltsc 2021 so this version of windows 10 is going to be supported until 2031 as it gets 10 years of support it's not bloatware there's no bloatware at all it literally comes with edge and that is it, a browser and then the core Windows apps, no Windows Store or anything. Obviously you can install this separately, but this is the best way to get support until 2031. So you can take a look on screen at this slide now with a few benefits and drawbacks of using this version of Windows 10. Okay, so your next option would be Tiny11. Now, Tiny11 is Windows 11, however, it is very slim down, it doesn't use much resources up at all, it only uses 8 gigabytes of space compared to the 20 gigabytes that regular Windows 11 uses, and it doesn't have any system requirements such as the TPM and the RAM requirements. So overall, I do recommend it. Okay, so on screen now again, just like with Windows 10, is a slide with benefits and drawbacks of using Tiny11 in your daily workflow. So take a look, pause the video if you need, and have a read. Okay, so the next option that you have is to use Linux. So Ubuntu, Arch, Kali Linux, any of them distributions. So obviously they're free and open source, they're updated, Obviously, you don't need a license for them. And yeah, however, some Windows apps such as Microsoft Office won't run on Linux. So you'll have to use the web or alternatives such as LibreOffice, WPS Office, etc, etc. So obviously, I'm now going to put the same slides up on the screen for the benefits and drawbacks of Ubuntu or Linux. Okay, so just bear in mind with Linux, it is sometimes command line based. So these videos that you see online aren't always true. It isn't that difficult to install a browser. Most of the time, it is the same as Windows, just double click the installer and it's running. So just take that into account when you're planning what OS you're going to use. Okay, so now you have a few solutions. I'll now teach you how to install Windows 10 LTSC on your computer. So what you first would like to do is navigate to the, to the description of this video and click the link labeled Windows 10 LTSC 2021. Once the ISO has downloaded, then you need to download a software called Rufus onto your computer. Once you've installed that software, plug your USB stick into the computer and open up Rufus. Now then what you want to do is select your ISO file in Rufus, mount it and burn it to the USB. 
Obviously, if you want to learn more about Windows 10 LTSC, there are a lot more videos on YouTube. I'll link a few in the description and in the card from just some other YouTubers that are talking about Windows 10 LTSC and why you should use it and why it is better than Windows 10 normal. Now, obviously, I'm not, I don't prefer Windows 10 LTSC. I've used Windows 11 since it came out and honestly, I prefer it. The UI is nicer. Everything's just better, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, but obviously if you're a long-term Windows 10 user and still want to keep that Windows 10, use LTSC by all means. Now obviously if you can't activate it, there are ways that we're not going to get into in this video. Um, that's for another day. And yeah, I just want to thank you all for watching this video and that was a TM6 zone video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.